In this short video, we'll see how MacroView DMF365 helps you to view and navigate the structure of a SharePoint document store. We'll focus on SharePoint Online, but the techniques are relevant also to on-premise SharePoint document stores. We're in Outlook with the MacroView pane in Browse Mode. There are three top-level nodes in the Browse Mode display. If we expand the Office 365 Tenancy node, we see the structure of our SharePoint Online document store. Expanding the MacroView site collection, we see four document libraries. And clicking a library, we see its default view displayed in the main pane of Outlook. There are two other top-level nodes in our Browse Mode display. These have been added by using the MacroView Options Servers tab. Here is the definition of our on-premise SharePoint document store. And here is how we've registered the OneDrive for Business area. Incidentally, the Appearance tab of the Office dialog allows us to suppress the display of certain document libraries. Let's not have the Site Assets libraries displayed. And now when we refresh, that library is no longer displayed. MacroView DMF365 provides a number of ways to help us navigate around our SharePoint document store. Let's collapse this area and expand the Operations area Right-click the Clients site and choose Filter Sites and Libraries. Now we see only those sub-sites or libraries whose titles contain the word Wilson. And we can click and expand and see the libraries within those sites. You can also filter folders and document sets. Let's restrict the display of folders to only those whose names contained archived. You can also use filtering at the site collection level. Generally, filtering is an efficient way to drill down in a node that has a large number of subnodes. Another great way to navigate is by using Search Site Tree. Let's go to our top-level node, right-click and choose Search Site Tree. Now let's look for any kind of node whose name or title contains sample. Let's click to select it and click OK. We're now navigated to that folder, regardless of how deeply nested it is or how far away it was from where we were previously located. Having found an area, we can right-click and add it to Favorites. Favorites have groups. I'm going to add this to the My Clients group. Let's go with the suggested name for our new favorite. Now when I switch to Favorites mode, I see my new area available so that I can drag and drop to save documents and emails. When we click, we see our newly saved email. You can use Filtering, Search Site Tree and Favorites wherever the MacroView DMF dialogs are displayed. That's in Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Adobe Reader, Acrobat, as well as in DMF Explorer.